Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Okay, so if you've been keeping up with my vlogs recently, you guys know how I was out of town for a month and I got back a couple weeks ago, but it's been a chaotic couple of weeks because look at me like making excuses, <laughs> but truly like there's just been a lot going on. I've had friends that have been in town, friends' birthdays. It's just been a lot of go, go, go. I've been out of the house a lot. And then when I am home, I'm working on the computer or trying to catch up on sleep. So I have not been able to keep up on the cleaning. Still have yet to unpack my suitcases. And my apartment is just, it's gross. We need a deep cleaning, so I thought, let me vlog it. We can kind of do like a Sunday reset, even though today is Tuesday, but who cares? And just so that it's not like a whole bunch of time lapsing of me just cleaning and it's a little bit more interesting for you to watch also, I asked you guys on Instagram if there's any topics that you wanted me to talk about because I have been getting several requests recently to do like a life update and I... Whenever I see like the same few questions just getting asked over and over, that's what I'm like, okay, it's, it's time for us to have a chat. That way we can like get caught up on everything that's going on and hopefully it'll also, you know, motivate you if you need to do some cleaning as well. Maybe throw this on while you're cleaning. We can clean together. So I have all of your topics and questions and we're gonna start cleaning in the kitchen because this is definitely by far the worst part of the apartment but before we get started this video is sponsored by blue land thank you so much to them for working with me i've been using their cleaning products and trying to slowly transition like my old cleaning stuff to blue land their products are effective convenient affordable and sourced from cleaner ingredients they don't use any single-use plastic in any of their components and all of their refill tabs are 100 percent plastic free so all you have to do is purchase your kit up front you get these reusable bottles and then once you're finished with your products you just have to purchase the refill tablets so not only are you being less wasteful but you're also saving a lot of money because rather than having to purchase you know a whole new cleaning product and the bottle and everything that you're just going to end up throwing out all you have to do is repurchase the refills and the refill tablets start at 225 so if you compare that to like a full bottle of cleaner from the store you're definitely saving also a lot of the cleaning products that you get at the store can have a lot of really harsh dangerous ingredients like i said blue lands products are sourced from clean ingredients they are actually epa safer choice certified i am all out of my foaming hand soap just about so i'm going to show you how easy it is to refill your blue land products all you have to do is fill it up with water and this bottle has the line that shows you where you need to fill it to. So I filled that up with warm water. Then I'm taking my refill tablet. This one is the Lavender Eucalyptus Foaming Hand Soap. So then you just drop your tablet in and it will dissolve over the next few minutes. You can see it's already starting to dissolve. And I am so excited because Blue Land now has dishwasher detergent tablets and they also came with this container so once we get all of these dirty dishes loaded in the dishwasher i'm gonna run that and we can try these out but if you guys want to try out blue land for yourself make sure you click the link in my description or scan this qr code right here to get 15 percent off your first kit thank you again blue land for working with me on today's video okay the first one i see is did you find a new place to live did you find a new apartment? A bunch of questions about like what's the moving update. Here's the thing. I've been living in this same 600 square foot one bedroom apartment since I moved to Wilmington. Uh, it's about to be two full years now since I've been here. And it's great. I love this place. They have added a lot. They've done a lot of renovations. So like the clubhouse, we got a brand new pool last summer. Like it's been great. But... The apartment itself, I feel like I'm starting to grow out of it. I would just like to have more space. And especially now, I have a pretty good group of friends down here. And I feel like, A, I live on the complete opposite side of town from all of them. And then also, I feel like I don't have enough, like, 
living space to have guests over because it's just very cramped and I don't have enough like seating or anything like that. There's one that I like that I'm highly considering that I didn't show actually in the apartment hunting video I did last month. It's really going to come down to money and what's available for the time I need it because like as much as I would love to upgrade to a bigger apartment if it's going to cost a significant amount more each month for my rent it might not be worth it for me to do that i'm waiting to get my notice to see what my rent is going to be here if it's going to stay the same or go up if it ends up going up any more than what it is right now i most likely will move because i just don't think i think i would be paying way too much money for the amount of space I have. But then it also depends too, like, does that other place have a unit available that's what I'm looking for? Especially because I live by myself and I don't have anyone to help me. It gets a little bit scary financially. It might be weird to hear like a YouTuber say this, but like I just am a normal person I make a very average normal income, but I also have a very inconsistent income because YouTube is totally inconsistent. Doing hair, making commission is inconsistent. So I try to live below my means so that I'm never like in a bad situation. So that is like the limiting factor, I guess. We shall see, but I would love a bigger apartment. It would be so nice to have more space and it would be fun to do like the moving content and all of that but nothing will be decided until like at least the beginning of the year so we still got some time here's what the dishwasher tablets look like so we're gonna drop that in and the rest of these are gonna go in the container Now, I put all my dirty clothes in here. We got a lot to wash. These are like all my clothes from the last couple of weeks, plus the stuff that was dirty in my suitcase. Update on the hair extensions. So I had the like beaded weft, beaded row, whatever you wanna call them, extensions. For like the last nine months straight, and I just got them removed yesterday because it was time for them to get moved up and I just I had them for so long and I love them don't get me wrong like I have no complaints about them at all they were amazing and I would probably do them again but I just wanted a little bit of a break so this is all my real hair so it got I mean and don't mind like how greasy and crazy it looks but it got so long it literally goes down to my waist so crazy this is all of it here I don't know I think I'm kind of bored with the super long hair so I have an appointment with my friend and co-worker to cut my hair short in a couple days so I don't know. I am going to wash my hair tonight and see how I feel about it. I'm going to blow it out and look at it one last time. But I've been thinking about cutting it short for months and months now. And I think I'm ready. It's just a little bit 
scary because it took me three years. I mean, my hair has never been this long in my whole life. And it took me three years to grow it from like shoulder length to my waist. And I'm like, God, that's a lot of hair to cut off all at once. A lot of years of growing. Stay tuned. I'm a little bit, my vlogs are going to be a little bit out of order. So you're still going to see me with long hair for a couple more videos. But at some point, you'll see the short hair. Okay, now for the bedroom. It's not too terrible in here. It's just like messy. Things need to be put away. So I have all this stuff on the dresser that I need to sort through and put away. I'm gonna take all the clothes out of that suitcase and put them away. The next topic that you guys have been asking me about is dating updates, what's going on in my love life, am I back together with my ex, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I talked about this on my podcast, Girls Who Get It podcast, that I do every week with my best friend Julia. I will have it linked in the description. If you don't already follow it, we have a YouTube channel so you can watch it in video version if you prefer that, or we have audio on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. But I gave an update on there recently. So if you listen to my podcast, I'm sorry if this part's repetitive, but my ex-boyfriend and I, we were together for four or five years. It was just a situation of like right person wrong time like I always from when I first met him I always knew that we had this connection that was just solid like it just felt so right like we just clicked immediately so easily and it just it was unlike anything I had ever experienced prior and I was like I don't know I just I really felt like this is my person but we just went through shit I don't want to get into like too much nitty-gritty detail because that stuff is obviously private and nothing crazy happened but it was just we have a pretty big age difference he is younger than I am and I think we both were just like young when we got together him especially and we just had stuff that we both still needed to work on I guess and um, you know we just like went through a rough time we both like weren't doing great mental health wise it was during like the pandemic so you know everybody was kind of going through a rough time it got to a point where I was like I would love for us to be together and for things to ultimately work out but we're just not good together right now we were living together in Pennsylvania and I just I wasn't happy with where we lived I was just feeling very like blah and stuck and I just wanted to change I was heavily affected by the weather the coldness and I was just tired of it I wanted to live by the beach I wanted warmer weather and I just felt like we needed kind of a clean break to go our separate ways and then if it was meant to be we'd find our way back to each other and I don't know that's kind of what happened so we've been apart technically for two years now and we've still stayed in contact and we've been both just working a lot on ourselves he is about to finish school and it feels like things are finally lining up we're just kind of like taking it a day at a time but i feel like we're in a really good place and I'm excited for the future. It's just kind of a waiting game, waiting for him to finish school within the next year. Ideally, the plan is that he can find a fully remote job and then, you know, we can just live anywhere and he wants to move down here to Wilmington. But if he gets a really good job offer in a completely different state and it's not a remote job, I'm down to move wherever we need to be but yeah that is all to be determined and nothing will be changing at least for 
like another year. So for right now, I'm just going to assume that I'll be staying in Wilmington. But yeah, that's the tea. I just threw another load in the washing machine. So I apologize if it gets kind of loud. I'll try to keep this part quick. Give in the shower a good scrub down. But the last thing that I wanted to chat about and update you guys on is work related things like career updates because I know I've talked about that sort of recently and like wanting to take more clients and whatnot so at the salon where I currently work I've been there for a little over a year like going on a year and a half now and I originally was just doing front desk when I started there because it was just kind of like the perfect thing I was taking a break from hair at the time but I still wanted to be in a salon and I was just kind of like you know wanting some part-time job to help me get out of the house meet people etc and it was great at the time but then the longer I was there I was starting to miss taking my own clients so I started to gradually take clients here and there in addition to doing the front desk. But now it's at the point where I am ready to just go back to doing clients more frequently, like not totally full time because I still, you know, have my YouTube channel and the podcast and all that, but I don't want to do the front desk anymore like it has served its purpose for me i'm over it and honestly i make more money when i'm doing hair so if i'm going to take the time to go to the salon i'd rather be taking a client so that i'm making more money rather than just you know answer the phone but it's a little bit tricky because there's not a lot of room there and all of the stylists there work tuesday through friday like open to close all day all week Saturdays are really the only days where there's even a station available for me to take clients, which is why I've been working on Saturdays, which isn't like necessarily ideal. Like long term, I would love to be able to not work weekends anymore, but I'm so used to it. I always worked Saturdays from the very beginning when I first started doing hair. So it doesn't really bother me um, and I kind of like being there on Saturdays because it's a lot more empty in the hair room and you know it's more quiet so anyway I've been doing Saturdays and that's fine but I'd like to do more than that so that I can make more money take more clients continue growing my clientele maybe eventually one day get a salon suite and like have my own little studio space so we're working the specifics out but starting January, I am no longer going to be doing the front desk. I'm going to be exclusively taking clients. And I'm going to be at least starting out doing two days a week. I'm thinking probably Tuesdays and Saturdays. And then maybe eventually if I want to do more days than that, maybe we can figure something else out or maybe... I'll, you know, have to look elsewhere. But I think because of what I, you know, was just telling you guys about the whole relationship thing and things being kind of up in the air, like I don't know a year from now if I'm gonna still be staying in Wilmington or if I'm gonna end up moving somewhere completely different. So I, I'm just gonna stay where I'm at to just make life easier and we'll just kind of see how this next year goes and then once I know for sure if I'm staying, then I'll kind of figure out my next move, I guess. done for the most part the laundry is still going and I'm gonna have to fold the clean laundry and put it away but other than that everything is nice and clean and it feels so good but I am gonna go make myself some dinner and then hop in the shower I gotta record a new podcast episode tonight so I am gonna wrap up this video here thank you guys so much for hanging out with me it really helped me to get through everything because honestly I didn't feel like cleaning but it needed to happen and 
being able to talk to you while I was doing it definitely helped. And now we're all caught up with everything that's going on in my life. So stay tuned. I have more videos to come. Like I said, I have a few vlogs that are like already pre-recorded. I have the Italy vlog. I know people have been asking about that. I did vlog the whole time I was in Italy. I just have a lot of footage and I'm honestly overwhelmed by it all. So one of these days I'm going to get around to finally putting it all together. But I do have a vlog from that. So stay tuned and let me know what you think I should do for December. Would you be interested in Vlogmas? Should I attempt to do that? Kind of overwhelmed at the thought of it, but I also think it would be fun. So I don't know. Let me know. And also don't forget to check out the link in my description to get 15% off your first kit from Blue Land. And I will see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.